Hi, I'm Dr. John with ProChiropractic. We're demonstrating the Graston technique again today. I'm here with Mackenzie Burns, and she's got some knee issues uh, from years and years of competitive skiing. And so we're going to demonstrate some of the treatments we would use for knee pain. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do with the Graston technique is reduce the friction on the skin surface. So we want to put some emollient on the area that we're going to treat. And you can use a number of different things for this, regular lotion, biofreeze, mineral oil. Uh, Graston Technique makes its own emollient and that works really well and that's what I like to use. Uh, unless I'm kinesiology taping the athlete afterwards and then I'll use like a cryoderm or a biofreeze that works a lot better because this just stays on the skin too slippery and it's too tough to get off. So if we're working in and around the knee of course we'll have an area of pain and for McKinsey she's got a history of Osgood slaughters and with that where the quadricep muscle attaches to the tibia at the tibial tuberosity, there'll be a traction and an irritation and where that muscle inserts to the bone. And so we'll want to work right around and in that area, but not before we warm up and work some of the adhesions out of the quadricep muscle. So I'm using what we like to call the GT4, and this is probably the instrument I use the most with Graston Technique in general. Very good at getting in and scanning through. Some Graston Technique practitioners like to call this the scanner because it's great for me as I scan through the areas and find the areas that have the most adhesions or restrictions. And for McKinsey, I can definitely feel it over here. To me, it feels bumpier, grittier. For her, it might feel a little more tender. If you notice right away, and I've mentioned this in other videos as well, you can see how the blood flow changes in there right away. Okay, That's fantastic because it's going to bring healing right to the area. Framing around the kneecap is really important. Sometimes I use long fanning strokes, sometimes real short and focused strokes in there. And again, the knee doesn't work by itself. Working on the lower leg and the front and back part of the knee is going to be really important. But the, for the purposes of this video, just want to demonstrate some of the, the strokes and techniques that we like to use. If I was wanting to frame around the kneecap itself, for instance, if I was working with patellar tracking disorder or chondromalacia patella, we are able to frame right around that kneecap and work out some of the adhesions and restrictions right as that kneecap or patella rides in the tendon. You can see just with a few quick strokes how much response that we're getting right in that area. Now this instrument's nice because it has more of a rounded edge and more of an aggressive edge the more aggressive edge is going to catch more restrictions in there. Okay. And then finally, if I want to get really focused, I can use the GT3. And this instrument can be kind of held almost like a pencil and work right at that area that's the most giving us the most trouble. This instrument is great when we're working on focused areas, areas of the hand, areas of the foot, or even to frame around areas like this tibial tubercle around the kneecap itself. If we've got some chondromalacia problems in there, we can displace that kneecap and work right underneath it. That's very, very effective, but also very, very tender in there for sure. If we wanted to work actually into the groove of the meniscus, we can get in there with that, okay, and work in a very focused way. This instrument is also very effective in uh, working around scars. So post-surgically to release the adhesions around a scar, this one is, is very, very appropriate. And then typically I would clean up just by working through the whole area with a less aggressive instrument. We would then clean up the emollient. A lot of times a baby wipe cuts right through that and then applying some sort of topical pain reliever like a cryoderm or a biofreeze is a very effective way. So that's Graston technique for knee pain. For things like runner's knee, chondromalacia patella, uh, Osgood Schlatter's uh, disorder, uh, very, very effective with the Graston Technique. If you'd like to learn more about how Graston Technique could help you, click on some of the links below, log on to our website at ProChiroMT.com, or shoot me an email, Dr. John Wilhelm, Sports Medicine Specialist at ProChiropractic. Thank you.